What up, fish people? Kenny E with Danikin Aquatics. Well, guys, I haven't given you an update on my old mud skippers in a while. And as you can see, the little porkers are getting big here. Absolutely getting to be monsters. Tonight, they didn't get their live food. They got themselves a little bit of uh, tropical granules, which they love. I interrupted them while they were eating, so they're a little mad at me right now. But as you can see, get some size to them. And there he goes. He's going to start eating. He don't care. I think tomorrow night I might shoot another video for you guys. I might stop and get some crickets on the way home. They're an absolute blast to watch eat crickets. We're out of blood worms too, so I got to stop no matter what. So I might as well get him some crickets while I'm there. There's another one over there checking me out. Like, I'm going to go away so I can go back to eating that or what? And then the other one skedaddled all the way to the end down there. But they don't seem to be tearing each other up like I thought they would be. They seem to be getting along pretty good. Yeah, that one's just waiting for me to leave so he can pounce. This little guy, they're almost like little chipmunks, I've noticed. I don't know if you guys can see, but they do that. They just cram their mouths full and then... Uh, store it like little chipmunks. They don't like this camera. Alright, if I just keep it here for a minute, they might come back. That one's like, okay, is he leaving or what? These guys give me just hours of entertainment. You can see his little legs there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I've been fighting a cold. Oh, see, now this one's getting peeled because that one's getting too close to the food source. He's letting them know he don't appreciate it. We've had a friend of ours, little Miss Whitney, has been saying she wants an update on our mud skipper, so here we are. Okay, here's one actually crawling on the ground to come over and get his food on. If you watch those side pouches, I've noticed that they, they're they glutton little suckers. And like I said, they fill those little pouches full of food. I don't know if it's food or air or what they're doing, but I've watched them do this several times. They'll come over and eat a bunch and go leaving out of here like a little chipmunk. And But they do like these little tropical granules. They think those are pretty good, I guess. Not seeing one of them. My guess is he's over there. There's one that likes to hang under the rock over there. I'll show you this one down here. Maybe I'll see the other one along the way. Oh, I scared him already. 
But that shows you how fast he, I mean, that guy was off that rock and gone. These guys do not play when it comes to getting out of Dodge when they're done with you. So, anyway, guys, I wanted to give you a quick update on these. And while we're down here, I'm going to click their lights off because it's getting to be about their bedtime anyway. And I'll give you a couple minutes on the old 240 discus tank. These are my babies. That's one of my new leopard snake skins. There's the other one. And everybody, this is my channel mascots. I've got two of these guys. These are my pigeon bloods. Yeah, I had my blue diamonds and them guys upstairs in a smaller tank, and that's when we shot our video or our picture for our mascots. But this tank just makes me, I could sit, wish I could almost sleep down here. This tank makes me peaceful. And I've got a large group of denison sharks, large denison sharks. Denison barbs, whatever you guys like to call them. That's all they do all day long, back and forth. Yeah, look at that snake skin there. I mean, he is just flaring his reds tonight. And this little guy here, it's got a little more red in him. And then that's my little Tony the Tiger, Tiger Turquoise. And this is the odd man out blue, blue diamond. The other two are upstairs and paired off and he was getting the crap beat out of them. So he ended up in the display tank with the rest of them. We also house three of those little electric blue rams in here as well. And we got a few different types of tetras in here. And then of course you've all seen the millennial rainbows. Millennium. I've got a pretty good school of those in here as well. Good old Cory special sponge filters work great. Don't seem to clog. We just started using those, so I'm anxious to see how they do. The only thing I would wonder about them, and the only thing I've seen so far, is they are quite coarse. So, don't know if it's going to polish the water as well as the finer ones would, but we will see. Corey seems to like them, and I'd say the guy knows a thing or two about fish, so I'll give him a try. Yeah, my two pigeon bloods there are pretty good sized fish. And those are full size rainbows there, so you can kind of get a feel for how big those guys really are when you see those rainbows. This gets dwarf them. He started to get feisty again. I don't know why he's picking on his buddy there, but he is again. He's not usually that white. And when he's like that, it's usually because he's PO'd. This little, this pigeon blood's got a little better stripage on him. Anyway, guys, so 
saw my boys down here being rather rambunctious, so I figured I'd give you an update on a couple of them in this room for you. But I'm going to go ahead and cut her off. As always, love your fish. This is Kenny E. with Danikin Aquatics checking out for now. You guys have a great weekend.